Conceive, believe, achieve. This is former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael Bisping. Paddy the Baddy here. You're listening to Combat Sports UK. And you're watching Combat Sports UK. Hi, everybody. Taylor Collard from Combat Sports UK here. And I'm delighted to be joined by Akon, Jedi One List. Akon, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us today, mate. What's up, man? I'm very good, man. Thank you for having me on here. The force is strong. Just finished out the shower. So I've just been lotioning my face. If I've got any white stuff on it, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> You're good to go, bro. You're good to go. The force is strong indeed. So you're fighting 29th of July, Octagon 45 on the Saturday night. Obviously, they've got two nights going on that weekend. You're fighting on the Saturday against Georgie Goto Churi. How are you feeling about the fight? We're kind of almost about 10 days out from the fight. How are you feeling at the moment? I'm feeling really good within myself. I'm feeling sharp, strong, long, intelligent, and the force is strong with me. Uh, it's been uh, a, a bit of a roller coaster. Not gonna lie, I've, I've had like four different opponents. Uh, many guys have run away from this this challenge, run away from the con from the contract. But I'll get them uh, one by one. Uh, you know, the names will be mentioned after I take out Goga Chucky. Uh, I don't know if I had to say his last name. You said it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, go with Georgie. Yeah, we we'll go with Georgie. Georgie, yeah, we we'll go with Georgie. I feel like it's gonna be a great fight. Uh, I'm just going to be able to show that there's different levels in this game and I'm a finisher. I come in strong from start to finish. Uh, he's going to look to wrestle me. If he looks to stand up, it'll be an early quick finish by knockout or TKO. But if he does look to go down to the ground, a lot of people underestimate my ground, but do not underestimate the power of the dark side. I've got many <laughs> chokes that can submit him fast. So, uh, yeah, dangerous all there, everywhere. Yeah, and I think if you go back and watch watch your last fight, which which is on YouTube, and I, I watched it recently, it is so evident how you drained his will literally through that first round into the second. You're grappling, you're striking. He didn't look like he, he could live with you anywhere. And as you said, you've had a couple of cancelled fights. Are you still riding off the momentum, kind of going through this camp of that fight, or is it so long ago that you kind of almost transitioned past it a little bit? Yeah, like I'm still riding off that. Obviously, um, it's great to build from from there, and that is a testimony to the skills that have built over the years. And you know, that's over a year ago now. So mm -hmm. uh, the amount of skills that I've even developed even more. Then you know, just really rounding off my game, making more areas more dangerous, and I, I really feel like I can be Octagon's champion. And yeah, speaking of Octagon, this this is your Octagon. Sorry, this is your your debut for the promotion. Um, it's a massive event out there in the in the Czech Republic in Stavance. Two nights, open air arena. How are you feeling, kind of about getting on the Octagon mat and kind of showing showcasing your skills in that first fight? I'm super excited. I can't wait to meet all the fans of Octagon. I can't wait to step out in the arena and just really showcase myself, like from. The start from when they announce my name, not even from when I get in the cage, but from even before I get in the cage and putting on a show, there's you, you don't want to miss the walkout. You don't want to miss the fight and you don't want to miss the exit because I'm going to perform and lay on the spectacle from start to finish. Oh, that's awesome. It kind of like uh, reminds me of Michael Venom Page where he kind of busts out the uh, Thor. Uh, <laughs> what was it he did? He did Thanos. He did Pokemon. Yeah. Didn't he? So can we expect something like that or are you not willing to divulge too many details just yet? Well, I'll give you one clue. I'm a massive fan of Star Wars, so I'm doing something with a lightsaber. You're going to see what character. It's going to be one of one of the most beloved characters in Star Wars, or one of the most hated, actually. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> one of the two. You're going to have to make sure you tune in so you can see. And I'll definitely be banging open a box of Jaffa Cakes after my fight. <laughs> legend, <laughs> so, legend. Yeah, yeah, just on that, just a quick... Head to your YouTube channel and check out the video. It's also on your Instagram, isn't it? Of uh, Darth One List from the Phantom Menace. You've done an edit on that, which is, which is really, really awesome. So I love, I love the way you promote your fights and the way you're going into this um, octagon, octagon card. Let's talk about your opponent. Let's talk about Georgie a little bit. You mentioned earlier he's a bit of a submission specialist. Looking at his uh, resume, so to speak, you know, do you see it as as a weakness, or do you kind of see it as something he might have been working on, kind of keeping on the on the down low. You know, where do you kind of see the fight going? Well, it, it, from all his fights, he looks like he likes to pressure people to the cage and then shoot for a double leg or a single leg. Now, I don't feel like he's going to be able to pressure me, you know, on the feet at all. Um, and then if he does shoot, 
shoot down for double legs and you know we get on the cage like I, I live on the cage I love the cage work so the cage wrestling is something that that I'm not afraid of and I feel like I've got more skills in I'll be stronger in the clinch I'll be stronger in the grappling exchanges wherever the fight goes so I'll be able to wrestle and dominate the position similar to last fight you know and the guy shooting probably I think he shot about seven times around yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know but I stuffed them all you know, and and got back to my feet if, if he, when he did take me down, and then took him down with a with a nice body lock takedown as well. Uh, so I, I feel like if that's his game plan to come in, I've heard before he said he's that's his game plan come in, wrestle me, and break my wheel. Then good luck to him. But he definitely underestimates the power of the dark side. <laughs> and one one thing that was really that was really evident from that last fight, and I'm assuming you're taking going into this fight, is your your height and your athleticism, right? it caused a lot of problems. Like you said, he shot a lot in the first two rounds and tried to control you that way. But it just seemed like your length and your strength and your athleticism, it was almost easy for you to for you to push him off. Do you see it going kind of similar if he chooses to, to bring out the wrestling and the jiu-jitsu in this fight? Yeah, definitely. I, I, feel, like, I feel like it might even end even faster. Like uh, I'll be able to stop his takedowns and then really get on the offense of his... On that fight, maybe I was I was on the offense, but he, he was a tough guy. To, you know, he, there was many chances to finish him. I was I was going to mount him one position one time, and uh, man, I need him in his head, and the, the guy just wouldn't go down. So you know, being a Georgian, he probably tough too. So he mm -hmm. may survive a round, maybe two, but I will get him out there before the end of the end of the three rounds. And does that that well-rounded approach that you have, I mean, I know um, you train with the Edwards brothers, right? So they both also, I mean, you saw it on display in March with Leon against Kamara. They also have a very well-rounded approach, great at stopping the takedowns. Is that a gym culture that you've kind of almost grown up in in the mixed martial arts sense that's kind of led you to this approach in your fighting game? Yeah, I think definitely, you know, I do credit... Uh, a lot of that skills to all the people that I have around me, you know, I've got the best in the world in, in MMA, in our gym. And then, you know, his brother is not too far behind. You've got Tom Breeze, you know, you've got, mm -hmm. uh, the list just goes on of how many, Joe Herbert is fighting this weekend. Shout out to him. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, Old Mill Brown on Cage Warriors as well. Shout out to him. It's, there's a lot of really good, well-rounded guys in the gym. And especially when it comes to cage wrestling, you know, Leon, I'd say Leon is the best in the world at that as well. You know, he's anti-wrestling on the cage. It's so hard for him to be taken down, and which I know, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, for, for him to take people down on the cage, you know, for him to take Usman down, it, sh it just shows. It, it, he's he's growing all that from our gym. And mm -hmm. to be able to rub shoulders with these guys day in, day out, it, it's really it's really cool, man. And, and it just... It, it, it helps me. It makes me get better. It, 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 I'm like a, a a a small fish in a huge, massive ocean. You know, like the the ceiling is massive for me to grow. But that is a great place to be as an as an athlete and an MMA fighter. Because it's always gonna you're always gonna grow. Listen, yeah, you got I a got real shot yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I got shot no. yesterday by Leon Edwards. Uh, Fabian Edwards and Mush, if you don't know about Mush is only, I don't know if that's how you say his last name, he's fought on cage rules a few times, a uh, heavy wrestler. The, all these guys are 20 kilos heavier than me, and they tried to break me, but they couldn't. <laughs> 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 they tried to break me, but they couldn't. But it, it's great, it got me ready for this for the fight, and I feel um, really confident going into the fight. Yeah, I mean, you're you're well and truly training in literally a shark, a shark tank there with, with those guys around you. How do you you know, what's your personal approach to, I mean, you do a lot outside of the Octagon, which we'll chat about in a minute, but what's your approach to training camp, to training in general? Do you take a lot of notice of what Georgie does and apply that into your game plan? Or do you just kind of say, hey, this is what we do. We shark tank with Leon Edwards and Fabian Edwards and we just go. Yeah, um, a little bit, yeah. So I definitely have a look at my opponents. Uh, I'm one for studying and breaking down my opponents. Like, I, I, I do that quite meticulously, to be honest. And then after after that's work's done, uh, I stick to, obviously, my game plan and see where my strengths can go against their weaknesses and try and, you know, smartly take the fight that way, in a way. So I do game plan. 
but you know it always starts from the things that I'm very good at you know really good at my distance control really good at setting everything up be behind my jab and you know my long rangy strikes and keeping the fight where I want, want it to be you know so um, um, I, I do take a look my coaches look more but we, we are really focused on what I can bring out Hey, that's that. That's that's the thing. Show him the force, and then he won't deal yeah. with it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you recently, you recently been involved in Octagon Challenge, um, kind of as a as a coach, as I'm led to believe. How was that experience? Mm -hmm. What did you kind of make of the whole the whole series, and what have we got to look forward to uh, with Octagon Challenge? Man, Octagon Challenge was a once in a lifetime opportunity and an experience. I did some things on that show that. I don't think I probably would have done if I didn't go on the show, which okay. is kind of weird to say, since I'm a dude that's like, I just do everything, you know, like I, I horse ride, I play ice hockey, uh, I can swim as a, as a black man, I'm a very good swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, just, just, uh, I play games, I play simulation racing games, I'm good with floor cut. There's all, all these things that I like to explore in the world. And it, it's like there's things that I've done on the show which I'll keep it secret and you guys can you know when it comes out September you can go see what we've done there's the things that I've done on the show that it was just blew my mind it was just a once in a life opportunity great experience with everybody plus fighting like it was it, it was sick just to live and like, it's like living at home anyway but just to have that focus of of uh, being a coach um, and helping other people to try and fulfill their dreams and have that competitive edge of the ultimate fighter sort of vibes. It, it was it's really good, you know. There was a mm. knockout, there was there was submission, there was uh, a decision and, and a TKO. So uh, uh, people got a lot to look at, look forward to. Great fights. Yeah, man. It's, it sounds like a lot of fun, and I can imagine with a the personality like yours, you'll come kind of kind of shining through through the screen and really pop out as kind of like a star on, on the end of that. And kind of tying in that with um, Octagon, did everything go well um, next Saturday? Is Manchester kind of on your mind? Is that, would you like to fight at the Octagon card in Manchester? I believe it's coming up in November. Um, or will you be there as a coach? Like, what are your feelings on the Octagon coming to the UK? So, cleverly, uh, Octagon, the challenge, has set up the next fight for me. Uh I will be I will be on the November card against who you're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah. so you'll be in September, uh, you'll find out who I'll be fighting. Now, nah, awesome, awesome! A lot, <laughs> a lot going on from uh, a lot going on yeah. from the Jedi. We got this fight, we got the Octagon Challenge in September, and then a, a cheeky little spoiler alert there for for, for November. And just just on a, on a side as well, you do you know just going through your social media. You you and Daniela are kind of murdering social media at the moment with everything you guys are doing kind of as, as almost an MMA boxing social media power couple. Is that kind of by design or have you both just kind of said, hey, this, this is a real niche that we can get into? Um, and yeah, talking through that process, kind of going through the boxing with her and how you manage everything outside of the, of the, of the cage. Yeah, it's kind of really weird. Like me and, me and my girlfriend, Daniela, we got so much in common. <laughs> and when we first met, we were just like, oh, me too, me too. We're like literally that meme. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we 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 just like two peas in a pod, and we do everything together. Um, uh, she just can't ice skate, actually. <laughs> she can't can't ice skate. I'm more I'm more talented than that, but she's a better cook than me. And so, <laughs> so we balance each other right in that way. Um, but yeah, with the boxing, she um had an opportunity to do YouTube boxing, and uh, took it with both hands from ten weeks. From no like no training, she had ten weeks to for a fight, and we went through that for a time. Unfortunately, she didn't get the one, but she just fell in love with the sport. She was like, "Oh, I love this!" And she's been at my gym day in day out. She's been training just as much as me. Every time I've been leaving the house to go train, she's been there coming along to every like every single session. And um, I've kind of kind of kind of taken on like a little bit of a head coach role with that, but she's with my head coach now. <laughs> And um, prepare. She prepared for her next fight uh, that just went this weekend, where she won. Yeah. And uh, a great opponent. It was a mad, crazy ass fight, and it ended up in a great celebration, which she planned. Where she got her titties out. 
So that went <laughs> crazy. She's like all over the world right now. She's like in Brazil, uh, Mexico, Australia, all in the front on, on the papers. Yeah, it's, it, it, I don't. I don't think we predicted it was going to be this massive, but just yeah. <laughs> it, you know, it's had some backlash, but it's had a lot of good reception. And uh, you know yourself as you working um, in press and stuff. That um, good press or bad press, it's good press. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. There, you know? So um, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say it's by design. I'd just say it's just naturally happened from just mm-hmm. from just us two. Really, like I would call ourselves a power couple. For sure. Yeah, I agree. I mean, in that in that in that space, for sure, like you said, it just went everywhere, every everywhere. And then I really like there was a really wholesome video you posted, I think, on your Instagram, or it was hers, and then you shared it of you kind of talking her up before the fight and saying how you kind of go through it together. I think that's that's really awesome. Like you said, she's been passed up to your to your coach now, so uh, that that's yeah. really awesome, man. And, and for you as well, it might it must give you a lot of satisfaction to watch her go through that process and be there kind of along the way. And now you're you know kind of doing the same thing what two two weeks later so so that's really awesome mm-hmm. and congratulations to you both on that and um just kind of i mean this interview has flown by i'd love to continue talking to you but just kind of as we as we wrap up do you have any uh first of all shout outs that, that, that you want to mention and kind of a cheeky prediction for, for the fight coming up uh july 29th well yeah well obviously shouting out if you want to follow anything to do with me whether it's from from OnlyFans, whether it's from my fighting, uh, you just type in my name or find my Instagram and all the links are across everywhere. Uh, if you want to see that viral moment by, from Daniela, then just type her name in Google, you'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the two predictions for the fight is, is definitely not going the distance. I'll be finishing him very early, either in the first round or the second round, if he does go the wrestling route. So look forward to that. Don't blink, because the force oh. is strong. First round, second round, love it. Akon Jedi One, this has been an absolute pleasure talking to you. 29th of July, the Saturday night, Octagon 45 against Georgie Gogo Churi. Um, from everyone on behalf of Combat Sports UK, may the force be with you. I uh, really enjoyed talking to you, mate. Thank you so much for your time. And may the force be with you. Take care. Oof.